let's go read a book today. Hello, hello, my little friends. Thank you so much for joining me here on this episode of Let's Go Read a Book Today, where I, Miss Pamela, share some wonderful stories with you right here in my little reading garden. And oh, do I have a great one for you today. But first, I have to ask, do you know what time it is? It's time for Word of the Day! Hey there, my little brilliant people! I'm Miss Vocab, that's short for Miss Vocabulary, and I have the Word of the Day for you, where we learn a new word that helps you grow our vocabulary and our minds! <laughs> So, our word of the day is freedom. What does that mean, you ask? Well, I'll tell you what it means. Freedom is the state of being free to act or move as one wishes. You decide what is best for you. Freedom. Hey. Why don't you try and use this new word, freedom, in a sentence this week when you're talking with your parents or your friends or even your pet alligator? <laughs> because the more you use it, you'll never lose it. I'll see you next time on the Word of the Day. Now, let's get back to some reading. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Vocab. And now, I am so excited to introduce you to a princess like no other and our story today titled, More Than a Princess, written by Delanda Coleman and Terrence Coleman and illustrated by Beatrice Mello. Well, are you ready to read? I am. So sit back and open your minds because here comes story time. <laughs> More Than a Princess, written by Delanda Coleman and Terrence Coleman, illustrated by Beatrice Mello. Princess Kiana was lying in bed. Life in the castle is boring, she said. I've got many things, but I need something more. There's so much out there I have yet to explore. I wish I could find something more I could do. Then suddenly, someone appeared out of the blue. Her fairy godmother. Oh, what a sight. She fluttered her wings in elegant flight. My darling Kiana, I come from afar to help you realize just how special you are. You wouldn't believe all the things you can do. Nothing can stop a smart princess like you. Well, said the princess with a smile on her face, I wonder sometimes what it's like up in space. An astronaut, how exciting, the fairy replied. Follow my lead and I will be your guide. You'll learn about science, you'll study and read. With practice, you'll get all the skills that you'll need. Aboard a space shuttle, you'll zoom through the sky and watch the stars twinkle as you're whizzing by. On the space station, there's no time to rest. You'll work with your crew and carry out tests. Everyone there will be ever so bright. They'll pilot, fix stuff, even launch satellites. You might even be the first princess on Mars. With passion and work, you can reach for the stars. You wouldn't believe all the things you can do. 
Nothing can stop a smart princess like you. Kiana was thrilled. This trip was such fun! What else would you like to explore, little one? Being a doctor, said Kiana out loud. Healing my patients would make me feel proud. Great, said the fairy. Now follow my lead. Let's see what it's like to help people in need. The two were now back with their feet on the ground in a room full of doctors all running around. The fairy godmother said, Look at them go. A day for a doctor is never too slow. You'll visit your patients and ask how they feel. You'll do all you can to help all of them heal. You'll diagnose and treat. You'll comfort and care. You'll talk to your patients to make them aware. You might wear a stethoscope to listen to hearts or help to fix bones that are broken apart. You wouldn't believe all the things you can do. Nothing can stop a smart princess like you. Kiana was excited. Can we try some more? Of course, said the fairy. What shall we explore? I'd like to see how engineering is done. Planning and building sound ever so fun. Good choice, said the fairy. Come on now, let's go. I'll show you the things that you will need to know. Engineers can design and devise many things, from robots and bridges to strong airplane wings. You'll choose in which area you should specialize. You could build new machines that will change people's lives. You could help make new highways, long tunnels or roads, or design cool computers to decipher codes. You could help our great planet become very green by making clean energy through new machines. You wouldn't believe all the things you can do. Nothing can stop a smart princess like you. This is so great, said the princess with a cry. So, said the fairy, what else should we try? Being an artist sounds exciting to me. I'd love to showcase my art for people to see. Okay, said the fairy godmother. Let's start. Let's see what it takes to make beautiful art. There are so many things that artists design. A product, an advert, a card, or a sign. You might work with colors of each shade and hue. Your artwork will show your unique point of view. Your creativity will express what you feel in your heart. Everyone will get lost in your beautiful art. They'll come from afar to admire what you've made. Your canvas and prints will be proudly displayed. You wouldn't believe all the things you can do. Nothing can stop a smart princess like you. But now we must go before your parents awake. Here's my advice that I'd like you to take. Work very hard throughout all your years. Don't get discouraged or stopped by your fears. Do all your work with great dedication. Though things might get tough, have no hesitation. You wouldn't believe all the things you can do. Nothing can stop a smart princess like you. There was now a princess with a vision in hand who knew she'd achieve whatever she planned. She'd grow to become a princess like no other, thanks to the help of her fairy godmother. Oh, wow, I love this book. It is so exciting to know that little Princess Kiana has the 
freedom to choose whatever profession she wants and has the freedom to be whomever she chooses to be when she grows up because she is far more than just a princess. And so are you. I hope you never forget that. Oh, and one other thing that we never want to forget are the incredible creators of this fantastic book. The authors for the wonderful words that become the story that help to grow our minds and the illustrators for all the amazing pictures throughout the book that delight our eyes. So Delanda Coleman, Terrence Coleman, and Beatrice Mello, we just have one thing to say to you. Thank you, thank you for writing this book and opening a whole new world. Well, it seems that's all the time we have for reading together today. Oh, but don't you worry, because I'll join you here again. Yep, right here in my little reading garden on our next episode of Let's Go Read a Book Today. And I so look forward to seeing you again. So until the next time we meet, don't you forget, keep reading. <laughs> Bye. I'm just happy you joined me to read today. Oh, yeah. I'm just happy you joined me to read today.